Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be covering the cube primitive in OpenSCAD. This is a tutorial for beginners and let's jump right in. So to start out with, to add a cube to your model, you just type in the, the cube command and with parentheses and a semicolon. This will add the default cube of unit size one. And something to note at this point is that the unit size in OpenSCAD is agnostic in that it doesn't equal a particular, particular measurement system. So one unit in OpenSCAD could represent millimeters, inches, kilometers, miles, whatever you like. Uh, so the target program wouldn't need to understand that, but OpenSCAD is unit agnostic. So you'll see the second command I issue has the number one. So Opa, the cube primitive will take as its operators a single size value and let's change this to show you how that it how it does this so this will operate on the second cube and one thing you can don't be confused by the position of these uh, the position of these is being handled as I as I may have said uh, by my utility called stack and that just stacks out uh, objects um, with even spacing and that's just so I don't have a whole bunch of commands in between here to, to make it more confusing. I'll be showing you the translate command in another video. So you see I've also represented uh, the same cube with size equals one and let's change that to three so you can see how that operates and you'll see now that the size of my cube is is three units on each side so in the x y and z direction it's it's three so you'll see the open SCAD allows for different expressions of the arguments so you see we the same cube is basically expressed in three different ways. The final thing to know about the, sim, the simplified uh, cube is that you can center the cube around a different origin. So each of these cubes, the uh, lower, the zero, zero, zero is at, the, at, the, at this leading corner here. You'll notice that in this cube, number four, where I've centered it to true, you'll see that the, the y-axis cuts down the middle and so does, you'll see it's down the middle on the z and if it were over here you'd see the same is true actually you can see that with this tick mark so the, now the center is in the center of the cube um, so that's, that's how you center the cube and that center uh, argument is true for all of the primitives or you can use that for all of the primitives so now let's do the center command with a, re with a resize. So this is going to operate on this cube right here. And we'll press F5, which is redraw or preview. So you see preview here. You can also click this icon. So now you see it, I've resized the cube. But the origin is still, you know, it's the same even spacing. So it's resized and set the origin correctly. Whereas you see in this case, it grew from the origin. In these, it grows around the origin. So now let's look at the next one, which changes the size a little bit. And this introduces the vector um, or, or an array of dimensions. And you'll see I've set the first one to one, which is the X value. The second is the Y value. And the third is the Z. And in this case, I've set it center to false. And you'll see the Y value is two. And um, appropriately, the object has grown uh, to two units in the Y direction. The next item is I've set the two to uh, set the x axis to two, and you'll see that I've moved the center equals false to the left side. Uh, OpenSCAD is smart enough to realize the difference between these arguments. They do not have to be in in uh, the same order. So you'll see now this uh, this cube has grown two in the in the y direction. And the final oops, <laughs> so let's uh, let's introduce reset view and recenter the view and then I'm going to zoom in with my right mouse wheel and I'm going to pan over with my right mouse button uh, so you'll see the final one I've set the z-axis to two and you'll see the cube has grown to two units long in the z-axis now one thing one I want to show you is let's center this object right here so this cube is currently not centered you see the origin zero 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 is there so now when we change this to center and we press F5 to redraw. Oh, <laughs> sorry. You change this to true, center equals true, because center and 
although center equals center is true, so I might have worked. So now you see that it's centered in the in the middle of the cube. So that's it for today. This is the cube series, the, the beginner series in OpenSCAD and cube. Next we'll do sphere um, and then we'll move on to cylinder. So if you want to see more of these, make sure you subscribe and, uh, and follow my channel so you can get more of the beginners series on